guys, it's Dana. Um, <laughs> that was super cheesy, but welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is another episode of five minute art. In case you missed my last video, definitely check that out. I will link it up there in the top corner. Um, and let me know what you think of these videos because I think they're fun to do. I really wanted to be able to show you guys how you can create some really simple, quick art for your home. So for this one, I've just wet my entire paper. So we're gonna do a wet on wet technique as we did before. And using the Watercolor Confections Essence Palette, I've just taken a couple of the red and orangey shades and I've just started dabbing on really loose, random splotches of colors. Because the paper is wet, what this is gonna do is allow the colors to sort of blend together. Now I'm trying something a little bit different. I've never done this before. I just thought it might be fun to give it a try and see what happened. Um, so basically I've taken my clear ruler and I've just started scraping the ruler along the paper just to kind of get a little bit of texture in the paint. And at first I wasn't sure if this would actually do anything, but in the end I really liked how it sort of made parts of the paper look a little bit rough, like some of the paint was pressed more deeply into the paper. So that's all I'm really doing here. I'm just taking this ruler and I'm just kind of experimenting with pressing the paint along it in different ways, um, horizontally, vertically, and I'm just, and just blotting up some of the excess as I go. Again, I wanted to keep these in real time so that you guys can actually see that it takes five minutes to make these pieces. So you can see it with the ruler, I'm getting these sort of lines in the paper. I just really liked that effect. I thought it was a little bit different and something that I haven't really done before. I really enjoy um, trying out different techniques and using different tools to sort of manipulate paint and see what can happen. So definitely experiment with some different techniques and tools while you're doing these projects because you might be surprised. So I'm just gonna speed up the drawing process here for you a little bit. I'm using my hair dryer as usual. Now I'm gonna take some washi tape and I like using washi tape because it's not as sticky as like masking tape so it doesn't affect your paper in any way. You can feel free to peel it off and not like pick up any of the paper in the process. And for this I wanted to create sort of a layered effect. So I'm just gonna sort of map out a little triangle. You can try any shape, um, even do a different design. I'm just doing a little triangle. I'm just eyeing where the angles should go, making sure there's kind of equal space on both sides. And then all I'm gonna do is start filling in that triangle first with some water. I'm gonna do a little wet on wet wash once again using the same colors that I used before. So I'm not going to incorporate new colors. Um, I just wanted to kind of keep this a little bit monochrome. So I've just splashed on a couple of those colors to the center and I'm gonna let the water uh, do its thing. And you can tilt your board as I'm doing now it should not flow underneath the tape if you've fastened it properly and it won't flow anywhere that the water hasn't been placed. As I'm looking at this now, I think it would look so cool if you made like a little galaxy or something in the center, maybe added a little bit of speckled stars or something, that might look really cool. So I'm just gonna speed that up once again and with a tissue just blotting up some of the excess Got a little mark up here. I was trying to get rid of it, but ah well, we'll just leave it for now. 
Now once that is totally dry, you can take the tape off. Don't take the tape off if it's not completely dry because you'll ruin things. So this is how it turned out. I'm gonna put it in the picture frame so that you guys can see exactly how it looks when it's all prepped and ready to hang. This would be perfect for a space that just needs like a little pop of color. And again, it only took like five minutes. So, I mean, it's perfect. Quick, cheap, easy. What more can you ask for? I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I know it was really simple, uh, but again, that's kind of the point of these videos. <laughs> Please give it a like if you liked it, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.